Hey, this is Josh Noel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the GFX pack here inside of Adobe After Effects. So here we have our motion duck extension with our GFX pack installed. This is where we can preview every single asset before we apply one into our project. You can easily switch through different categories and find templates that you're looking for. The GFX pack features sparks, smoke, fire, liquid, energy, accents, design graphics, and transition motion graphics for your projects. So how does this pack work? We have this empty composition here just with a title and a background. But if we wanna make this composition come to life, we can add some GFX templates to help spruce it up. I'll come here to the energy category and I can preview several templates here. When I find a template I like to use, I'll just go ahead and click on apply. So this energy graphic is now bringing some detail to our work. And we can browse through here and apply other graphics to help bring more detail to our work as well. So that'll input it right in the timeline. You can easily take these graphics, you can ask on keyboard for scale, you can scale them up or you can just position them around your composition so they don't all come in the same area and you can decide where it needs to go. So I was skipping along here, I went ahead and applied a handful of other energy templates just to this one graphic, but what if we wanna change the color of these graphics? Well, we can double click on one, come here to the control layer, go to effects controls here in After Effects, and we come here, click on the color and change this to any color that we wish to have and click OK. Then we go back to our main composition and it automatically updates. And one very important note here is that when you import a template, you may need to turn off the continuously rasterize icon to make the graphic look like it should. So you come here and you'll turn all this off. This way, none of the effects are gonna bleed over into your main composition and it's gonna look great. So make sure to turn off your continuously rasterize icon. So let's go ahead and take a look at another one of these elements. So for example, let's say I wanna add a transition to our project. Well, I can come here, apply a transition. I can double click it, come here and change our colors to something else. Maybe I wanna make this a little bit darker. And we also have other settings along with our template. So if you wanna turn it into be more pixely based, you can do that. And you can change some of the other settings like glow or whatever it comes with that template. And then back in our main composition, I can take this and put it above our solid layer like so. And since this transition is the same color of our background, it's going to to bleed right into our background as a perfect open transition uh, for our project. So now with everything put together, we have a handful of templates bringing this full composition to life.